So now we have reviewed four different types of angry thinking distortions. Which type sounds familiar to you? Can you put your finger on a specific self-statement that sets you off, that creates and continues without end your anger? Because this type of thinking occurs so quickly without any prior reasoning or thinking back, they are called automatic thoughts. Getting into the habit of learning to hear my automatic thoughts. While difficult at first, is important because I can start to pay attention to specific self-statements that occur repeatedly when I am upset. Also, it can be recognized as a signal for me to start escalating my own anger. So maybe I can recognize these same words as a signal to talk to myself differently in a way to help me manage my own anger instead of feeding into it. And finally, if I start to get into the habit of censoring these type of automatic negative thoughts, then I can help myself to avoid that sort of negative thinking style that I seem to always be trapped in and avoid using up all my energy in needless anger and stress. Well, that was a mouthful. Now let's focus on the characteristics of automatic thoughts. They are private. I talk to myself differently than when I talk to other people, don't we all? When I talk to other folks, I like to think that I actually make sense or at least discuss things in some sort of rational manner. When I talk to myself, well, things get larger than life, overgeneralized, can be irrational, can be emotional, more slant in my favor, or even downright horrifying. I owe that to growing up watching all those disaster monster and sci-fi movies. I'm a failure. Nobody loves or cares for me. It's all for nothing. The end of my life is just around the corner. Zombies and aliens are attacking. Yeah! These automatic thoughts are almost always believed, no matter how irrational those private thoughts may be. Automatic thoughts can be unquestionably accepted as for real. Although I suspect those people keep calling me with machine voice recorded sales pitches on the phone are zombies and aliens in disguise. These types of automatic statements can appear reasonable because they are hardly noticed. They run across my conscious awareness in a flash. I don't question or challenge them. I don't try to analyze what the end results can be if I continue to accept these types of thoughts as valid. Number three, they are discreet and focused on a specific message. Automatic thoughts give me a direct and specific message about a specific person or event. She does not care. Number four, they normally appear in a brief statement to myself. They present themselves in a short form or abbreviated single visual image. In my anger management groups, I hear the complaint often that a spouse or partner will bring up the same single issue or event that may have happened a long time ago to justify a negative characteristic in a significant other. That image is never processed or forgiven and is a source of ongoing tension, a sore spot that seemingly never heals. I also find that a single word or trigger will bring up a negative past event and that anger associated with it from the past to jump ahead to a negative conclusion for a current event. One peer I knew used to say the word boom. This was a signal for him to feel that he failed in whatever attempt to address whatever the situation was with his wife and that he would continue to be a failure. I suspect the word boom was a learned distorted automat automatic signal of sorts that implied everything was now crashing down on him. Number five, automatic thoughts are learned. Am I a victim of my culture or benefactor? Since the day of birth, parents, teachers, friends, television, mass media as a whole, government, and the list can go on. These factors have conditioned me to put some sort of value and to prioritize events in a specific way. Automatic thoughts tend to be negative and harmful to the max. One negative or depressing automatic thought can start a chain reaction of a continuous negative or depressing thoughts. Many of the clients I have dealt with that have issues of anger and de or depression seem to have a streaming video in their mind of nonstop angry and depressing thoughts for every occasion and turned on 24 seven. Depression or anger for them becomes a lifestyle that may need to be recognized and unlearned. There can be varying degrees of harm to self or others, and this may preclude any of the positive aspects of living. Number seven, automatic thoughts are hard to turn off. Did you ever have that experience where the same song or part of a song plays in your head repeatedly and you can't seem to get rid of it? For me, it's usually commercial jingles that have been pounding in my head continuously since birth, whether I want them there or not. Automatic thoughts slip by unnoticed and seem to come and go as they wish. The peer I mentioned earlier, number four, said, boom which in this case had come to mean for him that his wife does not love him anymore. We'll end up divorced. What about the kids? Zombies and aliens are attacking. Yeah! Okay, I threw in the zombies and alien thing just for fun, but you already knew that. So how to become aware of these automatic thoughts? 
Whenever I start a new anger management group, I give out notepads and encourage folks to keep a simple anger diary. Keep a notepad handy to jot down what it is they are telling themselves when they are upset. Not recommended for the middle of a fight or flight situation of survival, but intended for interpersonal relationships. Look for repeated statements or consistent themes. It's a real eye-opener to see the parallel between stressed out emotions and counterproductive thoughts. Enough to chew on for now. Next time we'll examine what to replace counterproductive thoughts with like more rational ones, or at least be able to stand back and look at the situation objectively. Now I think it's time to attack those zombies and aliens.